Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about the functional interface which is a, one of the functional interface which belongs to the java.util.function in uh, package. So let's press Ctrl Shift T and try to search for the function. And here is this interface and this is interface belongs to the this package which is called java.util.function interface so let's try to understand this interface so this interface is basically annotated as a at the rate functional interface that means this interface is functional interface which is having only one abstract method right it has been introduced in java 8 uh, function is a functional interface so it can be used to accept lambda expression function accepts one argument and returns a result so this argument is going to accept by uh, this interface as an input and uh, you can process the input and finally you can return the result so that's about the, these two parameter now you can see this functional interface contains a method is called apply so here you send the input to this functional interface and after processing finally you result the R is nothing but it's a re re result okay so this two data type is a generic so you can send any type of argument as a input parameter and after processing you can return the same object or different object so that's all about this interface now let's try to understand this interface through an example so here I have created a uh, project with name funks functional function functional interface demo and here I have created a uh, class with main method so here to show this demo I'm going to create one custom class is called a student and a student will have a few parameters so I'm going to specify the parameter like a student string name it int h and I'm going to initialize these two parameters using constructor. So go to the source and here we have an option generate constructor using fields. So select this guy and here is the constructor I have generated and let's create a public getter method. So select getters and setters and here I would like to generate only getters. So select this option select getters. So this will give you the only getter and here I'm going to write a public method and return uh, return type I'm going to specify as a string and I would say so custom so and here this method is going to uh, accept uh, functional interface so let's say functional interface and input I'm going to specify as a student a student and after after processing I want this should return a string so here input as a student and after processing a student I, I want the return as a string and let's define this guy return now this functional interface let's import this student class okay please sorry i have given the name as wrong so let's rename this class this must be a student and now let's return now you can make use of this function this is reference of function interface and here you have apply method right and here i'm going to pass current class instance that is nothing but this okay now come to the main method and here I'm gonna create a list of a student so list of a student I'm going to initialize with array list Sorry. array list press control shift O for organizing port 
and here I'm going to add some students like new student name as Martin and age I'm going to specify 23 let's add few more students Andrew is 20 and so on is I'm gonna specify 20 okay now let's iterate this list using it has for loop okay and here I'm going to call here I'm going to call uh, a custom so method on a student reference so here you can call this guy a student dot custom so and this method accepts reference of lambda expression right so basically a reference of function function interface and uh, I, I, I you know already for functional interface we can define a lambda expression right so here i'm going to specify lambda expression like this so i had uploaded a lot of videos on lambda expression if you don't know how to write lambda expression for functional interface then please go and watch my previous video tutorial and come to watch this this video now get name and i would say separate tab is dot get name get is so if I run this program then I would get the output in this format so here basically I have passed lambda expression to this so custom uh, custom so method right this is a functional interface so of course you can define a lambda expression for this functional interface now this is the first way to iterate list of uh, list of uh, just we are iterating the list of uh, a student and just calling uh, the custom so method is accepts lambda expression so here one of the demo I have shown you how to make use of function interface now second way what I am going to do for uh, here directly you are passing the lambda expression but you have another option you can define a lambda expression over here like functional sorry yes you can define a functional interface the reference over here so student and here a string right and here you can see a style one you can say style one and here again you can write a lambda expression so here you can if lambda expression contains more than one statement then you can have a open and close parenthesis right and here I can define a string result equal to you can define name and s dot get name and you can see age and age and s dot get age so here we have defined a lambda expression separately over here and this lambda expression is basically returns a result and that results just I'm going to assign in this variable so here we'll have to write finally return return is nothing but this result right which is a, just a string now you can use a style one so while iterating this list of students so rather writing the lambda expression here itself directly what you can do you can pass you have a student right so a student dot custom so and here already you have defined a lambda expression over here so that you can pass it over here 
and this is the second way we can make use of the functional interface so let's separate these two output with some marker right and if I run it then you get the result like this now again you can define this lambda expression in some concise way so here basically what I have done just change the name of the variable style 2 and here if here what lambda expression says that uh, basically we define lambda expression of a functional interface and functional interface has only one method so we don't need to define the return and a lot of like lambda expression knows what's the name of the function what's the return type of this function and all so you can define lambda expression is brief and concise way uh, instead of writing a lot of code you can define this thing in single line of code so directly you can return these things like this so style 2 I'm not going to write this much code so directly you can write like this sorry so what I'll do directly you can return. you can write these things in return itself this is the one of the concise again you can iterate lambda expression now lambda expression very well know what the return type of uh, I mean uh, I mean function interface very uh, function interface knows what the ret what type of re uh, value is getting returned and this is getting stored in this style 2 variable and if you iterate then you get the almost similar result so here we got the result right so in this video tutorial we have learned uh, how to make use of function interfaces which are available in the java.util.function interface right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this concept and this code i am going to upload on the github so uh, if you want to download the source code then you can find uh, I mean github link on the uh, below to the, this video in the description section so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial